Today I'm going to be playing as the nation of Kabu, a nation that can be released in West Africa from Mali. Of course, Mali looks to be the strongest nation in West Africa, but because they start off with one of the worst disasters in the game, breaking free from them should be relatively easy. After that, we have a bunch of gold mines to conquer, and I'm anticipating a pretty easy and smooth campaign with lots of conquest in West Africa. Although, things aren't always as they seem. So let's see if I'm right, and if this will be easy, or if we're in for some pain. Alright, alright, here we are as Mali, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, apologies for not playing the nations that we've uh, had trouble getting started in releasables, such as Surguja, Patiala, and Corfu. This week, it's not because I tried and failed, but it's because I don't have time to keep trying them, so that's why I spun the wheel again, and I got Kabu. Pretty exciting, honestly, we haven't been in West Africa in a while right here, so let's go ahead and release ourselves, and there is Kabu. We pop out in Gabu, Futa, Jalan, and Kantor, which are these three provinces right there ah an amazing color as well so do we have a gold mine we don't have a gold mine but when we fight molly we'll get these two then we'll get the one from kong and um conquering all of this and a little bit more maybe if we end up bordering someone over here or if uh, these guys over here spawn that should be enough to put us on the great powers list of course there are other problems right here in this region man because we don't have feudalism but it's spreading here why why is it spreading Old world non-tribal capital. That's right. Mali isn't tribal, of course. So we're just going to go with a simple autocracy right here, man. Starting guy, Muhammad the first fact right here. Shout out to all my bear watchers. Uh, 422, not bad. And let's take a look at ideas. We got a West African ones. Manpower, I like it. Looting speed is good. A diplomat. Possible advisors, goods produced. I like that. Global trade power. Religious unity. Calf discount. Trade efficiency. And envoy travel time. And max promoted cultures. Okay, not that bad. So, uh, yeah. We're going to do the... Um, not going to do the vision quest just yet because we do need to break free and we need to select a cult. What I'm going to go for is the Diplo at first right here so we can get supporters. But then, of course, we're going to be utilizing the land attrition one. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for a month to tick by, man. Mali isn't powerful at all at the start. It's going to be so easy to beat them up. Of course, we're going to have to beat up a lot of the rebels, too, but... It is what it is. All right, dope. A month has ticked over. I hope that even with releasing myself from Mali, they're still getting the disaster. But what sucks is they've allied Songa. <laughs> All right, let's hope we can get Jene and Timbuktu to support us, man. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do the estate setup. I'll start actually. Um, I'll put one guy in Timbuktu to collect, and we'll tell him to establish communities. The other guy can spy on Mali. And uh, then we'll work on alliances, making, actually making money at the start, weird. And uh, we do have a Diplo Rep guy, perfect. Force limit is four, as always. So let's start building up. Yeah, we'll be able to get Jene and Timbuktu easily. Songa will focus on them, I'll focus on Molly. And honestly, out of these guys here, I think I'm the only one who can see these guys right now. I think everyone else here can't see these guys yet. Okay, so I literally just claimed Bambuk over here. Literally just did it. You can see by the spine network. And I immediately got rightful ownership. Let's request it. And they denied me. Of course they did. Yeah, but Molly Man already they dealt with so many nobles and fetishist zealots. Now they got particularists, more nobles, low manpower, their armies suck. Standard Molly. Well, we've assembled a war band, Merc Maintenance and Yearly Army Tradition, and Claims. I like that. Didn't even have to spy on Molly, but I'm gonna keep doing it for, um, you know, for sieging. Truce with Molly is up. I just got Timbuktu and Gen A very easily. Didn't even need to pop off a scornful insert or nothing. Even, I, I think I can even get Portugal to support me, honestly, but it's not necessary. Uh, let's just wait for a couple of these guys to clear out. And I'll declare. Okay, Molly's armies are toast. Rebels actually enforce demands. They only got 2k troops, man. Yeah, easiest independence we've had in a while. The biggest problem for me here is stabbing up. But even that's not a problem. Oh, wait, I didn't do the estate setup. Okay, now I did the estate setup. Oh, uh, there we go. We're done, man. When did I declare? Like, just a couple of months ago, we're done. I didn't occupy everything myself, which is unfortunate. But at least I do border Kong right here if I take all of this. So, yeah. Now we just gotta peace out Songai. I'm actually not even gonna do anything. Okay, peace out Songai. Unfortunately, couldn't make them end the alliance with Kong because technically I'm not independent yet. But there we go. The war is done. Uh, occupations changed a little bit because rebels popped up. But uh, it is what it is. So there's independence, man. I'm definitely taking the gold mines and Bago just so I can border Kong right here. Half of these guys are Sunni. Half of them are fetishist. Mali is a. Well, actually, they've been flipped by zealots. Um, they do start off as Sunni. So yeah, I'm going to take everything that I can here, which is this. 
these two provinces i'm not gonna give to timbuktu we're just gonna full annex mali later on and with that ban we are um done a lot of aggressive expansion at the start sure but it's really not a problem okay let's go ahead and lower war exhaustion a little bit core these provinces up i do have the points for it i stabbed up already tier two gov reform time obviously strengthen noble privileges and let's see feudalism spread is still going i am gonna defer it a little bit I'm honest, I'm gonna defer it a little bit, then we can get the other ones from the other guys, and um, just like that, man, I'm gonna rival Jolof and Mali immediately, chill a bit, and then uh, see who we can fight. Uh, our only two options right now are Kong and Jolof, so yeah, I also spied on Kong, so we can start claiming. But yeah, now that we have the gold mines, man, I can hire three advisors right off the bat, even though we're gonna be losing money for a little bit, um, we're gonna dev them up pretty soon, and then we won't be losing money. All right, we also start off on tech two. Okay, everyone's on two. Woo. But yeah, poured a little bit of points into my capital, so you know we get feudalism quicker. And I gotta say, man, Kabu, one of the one of the coolest colors. You know, it's so it's so just you know bright. It catches your attention immediately. It's definitely giving you know Sardinia Piedmont and stuff like that, or Aaron Shar. But yeah, Timbuktu and Jene obviously broke their alliance with me because I didn't give them anything. So that's why I've allied Ayer and Benin, two nations that might help out. And they're not that close to where we'll, you know, butt heads. Fought some rebels, embraced feudalism, got Miltech 3. Now it's time to activate Encourage Development, which I already did, and develop these two gold mines. Luckily, they are already pretty dev. They are at 6. Um, so I can push them to 9 immediately, and then it's 10. And uh, 10, perfect. Easy. Now we can go ahead and lower autonomy as well. And now, boys, we're really in the money. All right, now it's time for the build-up. So what I'm going to do is take indebted to the merchant guilds right here. Now, we still really can't do buildings any anyway, but you know what? I am going to put down a fort in my capital, man. Why not? And then we're going to go ahead and get um, a couple of more of these guys, and I'm even going to get two cav guys and go over force limit. All right, so I built up the fort in my capital and I activated defensive edict. I think I'm going to go for Jolof here first, man. Uh, even though they're allied to Jene and Timbuktu and they outnumber me because I got Miltek 3. Jolof and Jene don't. Jolof is going to be... Well, I was going to say they're going to be stuck here, but they won't. They can just go like this. I'd rather fight them than Kong, but then again, Ayer will help me with Kong. Yeah, frick it. We'll do this then. Yeah. Oh, and now Benin will come in as well. Cool. All right, so I just pieced out Songai, did Timbuktu earlier as well, and on my side, Ayer got pieced out, and the problem is Kong hired this 10k Jene on a theory stack, man, so I gotta go back, beat them up, then go for Kong, but it's only them left, so really not bad. I also made uh, Timbuktu end their alliance with Jolof, so we're chilling on that front as well. Okay, war is done, and there's a full annexation on Kong, and we've gotten a third gold mine, yes! What I don't like about this campaign, though, is how weak my allies just were, man. Iron and Benin, I consider to be some of the, you know, the mid-tier powers here after Songhai, Timbuktu, and Mali in the hands of the players. So there's the Wealth of Africa. Sure, I'm going to take it. Um, Yeah, let's core these up. Uh, Jolof is next on the chopping block, I think. But now we've also unlocked um, Yatenga, Wagadugu, and Bonoman. Uh, right now, we've played for about 20-ish years, man. 144 dev, actually not that bad. Some of these guys that are on the GP list with, right, the Renaissance. Uh, I guess I get tech four, then I go for the Renaissance. I already got it in the mill, I guess. Break my life. All right, there's admin four. At least we can do um, churches now. Uh, yeah, your three go reform time. I'm going to go. No, that's not the, that's not the. Uh, mm, sure. All right, fishing for radical reforms now. Yes, for, for the Europeans, perhaps, Kabul may be a tiny, irrelevant nation over in West Africa. It's probably not that tiny. This is probably like the size of England or something, but... Yes, there are no valid rivals for me here. My only valid rival is Portugal. I love it. You just know none of these guys are gonna go for Brazil. They're all gonna come here, right? All right, we got time, man. Let's go for Jolof, huh? Oh, and later, Fulo is gonna pop out here. I'm actually gonna go with um this. Oh, I just uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> this is how you play as Fulo, by the way. I should probably do these guys at some point, huh? But uh, yeah, there we go. They're, they popped out. Let's find them. Meanwhile, we're done with Jolof, and we're full annexing them and getting a very nice province right here, which is on uh, Estuary. Perfect. All right. Uh, we're also tier four in every category. I should probably take a look at the cheapest province to dev right now, which 
Yeah, I, I thought so. It would be Cantor. So that's right next to our capital too. Is anyone actually getting the Renaissance here? No, no one is. Yep, time to develop our second institution already. Frick me, dude. All right, centralized got canceled, but this is the one I actually wanted for the autonomy change. Monarchical. Okay, I am developing the Renaissance here, and that's what I'm using points on, but uh, let's hit Pulo uh, while they don't have any allies. Sure, I'm not going to have enough admin to core it, but we still got to take advantage of this. Well, this came in at a wonderful, wonderful time. There we go. There's 200 admin and um, Diplo points. I'm going to save them for coring, I think. Well, at least the admin ones. So far, man, I got to admit, I think my prediction of this being an easy and fun campaign is coming true. Like, look at how large we are. Really not that much, right? We still have, like, um, we've only conquered probably a, th a fifth of West Africa. Or not, nah, maybe more, maybe a quarter, but we're almost at 200 dev, right? We have been doing a little bit of deving, sure, but yeah. Even even though we're, like, less than halfway into this campaign, Hulo, or sorry, Kabu? I recommend it. But yeah, Fulo, Mulo, Kabu, Mabu, it is time to annex these guys. All right, devved up the Renaissance, and since I'm super rich, I can actually take new burger loans, embrace the Renaissance immediately, just like that, and uh, even uh, continue building some trade buildings and some more churches or whatnot. But yeah, there we go. Development done, man. Now we just need to dev lobby as well, so... Or devving. I got too many gold mines. Let's let's push that up. Once we get it up to 10 and chill a bit, we'll continue with our conquests. We got Bonoman, Wagadu, Yatenga, Jene, Mali, Timbuktu. Lots of guys to push through. So even looking at all of these small guys right here, man, as you know, in West Africa, everyone has like three or four allies. Bonoman, three allies. So that's four guys we got to fight. Wagadugu, four guys we got to fight. Yatenga, three guys we got to fight. Jene, three guys we got to fight. Mali, three. Three guys we gotta fight, two of which are Timbuktu and Songhai. But Timbuktu, only them and Tafilalt. And Tafilalt has broken free from Morocco and they have gotten this province, which means we officially have a way to break out of West Africa if we need to do it later on. Either way, what I was getting at is Timbuktu is the easiest to fight, bruh. So let's spy on them. Okay, I've officially devved up Kong to 10 production as well. These haven't fallen, have they? Jesus Christ. No, they're still at 10. Okay, let's take a look at tech now. So I'm four. Yeah, no one's ahead of me. Good, good, good. It's not that bad. Uh, leading tech right now, if Castile's uh, six, five, seven. Yeah, tech right now is like seven, seven, seven. The, the you know, bright green guys. Look at this, man. We got uh, 33 total income. I bet you it's one of the highest in the world. Let's take a look at income comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Only, the only nation in the world that's making more money than us is the Mamluks, which I presume they have a millions of population. And then it's Castile. And it's us three. Look, then the next one is like Portugal and Congo. Ah, oh, but these are only the guys that I can see. Right, right, right. They're only the guys that I can see. Well, in the known world, I'm the second richest nation. Known world to me. I mean, I've built up the force limit and they're fighting up. Oh, perfect. No meme, no joke. This was the easiest war we've done this campaign. I I'm interested in seeing actually the clip. Uh, when did I actually declare this? Let me see. How, how long did it take? It's, it's June 26th of 1483 right now. Yeah, it took less than a, it took less than a year. I declared on June. Uh, yeah. Oh, now look at this. So Portugal <laughs> didn't full annex Tafila, but they almost did. And now this province is not owned by them anymore how i guess it starts colonizing and maybe they have to wait for it to finish but i don't think it's like that with morocco and these other guys hmm, i wonder why that happened i told you didn't i i did tell you i did tell you don't act like i don't tell no 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 not you not you bob it's jeff jeff is jeff did i not say this come on man you you can't not believe me but uh, yeah, boys, that's just that's just the reality of playing anywhere. So yeah, now we definitely got to chill a bit and catch up on tech and stuff like that before we continue our conquest, because uh, if I end up bordering some of these guys, well, it's not going to be very nice. All right, first idea group time. We probably should go with something mill here or yeah, maybe not. I mean, we don't have anything mill related, but we're stronger than any of these guys. What I'm thinking first is Diplo, honestly, for the province, war score cause. Maybe even religious or humanist to keep it chill, but I, I usually avoid opening up with an admin one recently, so... Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm not feeling anything mill. Frick it, why not go with Diplo for it? Mm. But we won't even have to blob that much. Admin, maybe, for the CCR? You know what? Frick it. But yeah, man, it's... Regarding these guys, it's always like this. You know, Quasimodo predicted all of this, so uh, if you believe that the AI does actually target the player, like I've been saying for years, 
smash that mother freaking subscribe button if you haven't already. You gotta do it if you believe in that conspiracy, which isn't even a conspiracy. Ah, my air mule. <laughs> well, frick it. Oh, well. All right, so we've caught up on deck a little, I guess. We're deck five in every category. It's time to destroy our former overlord of Mali and accomplish one of our goals. Song guy's gonna be in this too. Let's call an ire, because why not? Yeah. Well, you know, these wars keep getting easier and easier, man. But uh, I got a new heir. This guy's even worse than mule. So we're at 100 prestige. I'm willing to eat this. And uh, yeah, there we go. He's dead. Okay, tier four government form time. We can do uh, the fetishist strength and clergy privileges one for missionary strength right here. And they no longer increase the influence of clergy. I don't need that. I could expand temple rights as well. Let's see, man. Yeah, I, do, I, I, I should I should be converting realistically. Let's let's do um, which one was it? Enforced unity of faith too. There we go. Let's send these guys in. Yeah, and I'm over golf camp. How? But yeah, one goal officially accomplished. Mali no longer exists. We're actually freaking loaded here, man. I can even build this thing that um, yeah, I, I'm gonna build it. We've become a kingdom. Nice. Golf cap. Okay, so I just got the CCR right here, and it's time to fight a Waga Dugu because they have three allies specifically. Because I need three guys to give me war apps to advance down these branches of the mission tree. So why not do it? So yeah, let's fight Waga Dugu, calling Benin and Ayer. Their allies are Oyo, Dagbon, and uh, Jene. Well, I pieced them out. Um, there's the mission. Tax, mill points, claim on the. Uh. Now, why would I need a claim on this? Okay, there's a full annex on Wagadugu, and I have fallen behind. Yeah, as expected, man. These guys just grow so much more rapidly. Missions and stuff like that. I don't even have claims from missions. These are regular claims on uncolonized land, by the way. So I do have to keep spying on all of these guys. But yeah, we're still chilling, man. We're still chilling. Let's pour these up. Take, um, actually, take this. All right, now we can do some workshopping, finally. All right, let's actually fight Bonoman. I just got done helping out Ayer with something. Bada Ungurma is who they're allied to. Okay, people come in like that. The homie can't do them right now. Yatenga. Let's not. Let's not. Well, that's a wrap on these guys. I'm actually going to pull annex both of them, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of playing too slowly here. <laughs> Okay, so what I did was just build cannons and make Ayer break its alliance with Jene. Now Jene is allyless. Here we go. Another piece of cake, bro. There we go. There's Jene full annexed as well. All right, checking along nicely. Checking stats. 383. Just one below the great powers list. But we're still moving along, man. We're gonna need a... Yeah, we're gonna maybe not need to conquer all of West Africa, but Songa, Yatenga, Dagbon... Ooh, Ashanti just spawned, and I already have claims on them. Okay, that is where that mission comes in. <laughs> Two provinces. Yeah, once again, very easy. There's just um, a little bit of death for us. Oh, nine and five? 14 dev? Actually, not bad. Uh, shoot, Benin just annexed Oyo and made Dagbon and Dahomey their tributaries, so they're off the, you know, whatever. So maybe Yatenga? I gotta choose with them, though. Not for a very long time. Or maybe Songai. Yeah, Songai. And right, uh, just like Admin Deck 7, it's time for a second idea group. You know what? what why don't we do a mill-less campaign? No, no mill idea groups. How about we just go for, I don't know, espionage because I need that spy network construction. Honestly, man. And the, and the, this, it, it, it had siege, right? Yeah. And that'll come in nicely too. Sure. Espionage, man. Admin espionage. This is like some AI tier, uh, you know, opener. It's easy to forget that Yao is actually the most annoying nation to fight in West Africa because they got like three forts. But, uh, yeah, we're done with Songhai. Let's see if we can actually full annex these guys. Wait, did I occupy everything? Yes, I did. Uh, we can full annex them. Perfect. Uh, but they won't accept yet. Because there was a battle. Now they'll accept. Nice. Okay, now uh, we can take the mission. Clearings and irrigations for dev discount. We can't do any of these. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, low on manpower now. We gotta chill a bit. Well, Ayer just broke its alliance with me, which is not very nice. Ooh, that inflation, bro. We gotta bring that down. Okay, so next on the chopping block, after we get the manpower back up, I think it's gonna be a Tenga. They're only the Zazao. Now, I can't co belligerent Zazao because I have a truce with them, but let's take a look at their province war score cost 46. So I can full annex them without co belligeranting them. Yeah, I think that's what we go for, man. Yatenga and Zazao, and once we're up with them, we can sort of push into Kano and Yao here, and then Ayer and Benin will be left, or maybe after Zazao, Kano, and then Ayer, Benin, I keep around till the end, and them and their boys, we annex at the end. 
But yeah, not a lot of buildings to be built here, man. Look at, you know, I built up some marketplaces, put a couple of churches down. We got the production buildings going in the high value trade good provinces. You know, it is what it is. We're still making most of our money from the gold. Look at trade, non-existent production, even though I've built up workshops, pretty much non-existent tax. Eh, it's in the negative, but you know, don't take a look at that too much. Right, it's because I've been doing admin stuff, like... And I, I I haven't been full stating. Can we even full state? Yeah, we can. We got the golf cap. Frick it. I'm at least gonna half full state these, you know, without the extra pouring. And then I'm just gonna wait on um admin points. And keep in mind, I even uh, got a level three admin guy. I had him, but he's a new guy. Oh, now I get it. It's cause uh, Mule is back from the dead with zero admin points, and that's why I'm sucking in admin, of course. But yeah, even with all of these hurdles that we've had, man, it's still been a pretty easy campaign, like I said at the start. Taking a look at the Great Powers list, I'm not on it, but I could be on it? I don't know. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, we're still gonna do the Yatenga Zazao thing. After that, we'll see where we're at. Meanwhile, did this get built here? Where's that freaking, um, what's that monument? It's in Timbuktu, right? Institution spread, so... no, nah, but it's still not spreading, right? Yeah, we, 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 we got a death for it. Yeah, just waiting to <laughs> do that province that's under siege, apparently. Tier 5 gov reform time. I'm actually going to go with um, max hostile attrition. No, minus 15% land attrition with the cult that I already have, uh, which is also the land attrition. This is going to help out a lot with manpower. So, yeah, even though I'm bombing, kind of, sort of, I'm still not going to go with the uh, engineering. So, that should help a bit with manpower, yeah. Okay, now everything is full stated. No other culture is left to promote, so we can do a little bit of lowering autonomy once again. This should help with the manpower and the income as well. There are quite a lot of provinces we can do this on. So, yeah. All right, I think I'm good to go on this Yatenga Zazo thingy, man. Um, Not going to call him Benin, though, because they might occupy stuff. And we're done. Okay, we need to separate piece Zazo first. Hopefully they haven't dev'd. They haven't. We can full annex them. We don't care about a coalition because there's only like five of these guys left. And now we can piece out these other guys as well. Yatenga, there's a full annex on them. And we can go ahead and piece out. Perfect, man. All right, let's go ahead and core this up. It's again lacking admin points. Taking a look at this now, 516. So we're above um, the Mamluks, above Austria. Oh, wait, dude. <laughs> How long have these guys been on here? So right now we're at 516. We're going to be deving for colonialism. That's like 30 something dev. It's going to put us at like almost 550, maybe 550 is exactly to be honest. Uh, yeah, we're going to be above England and Portugal without even full annexing West Africa. Slightly lucky there that these guys didn't grow too much. But uh, listen, I said it at the start, boys. Breaking free from Mali, easy. Acquiring the three gold mines, easy. Developing them up to 10, easy. Making money, easy. Ideas, they suck, but still. I'm such a good player, better than Flory, by the way, and Habibi, and Zlovic, uh, that I've been able to accomplish this in such a short period of time. And that's real right there. I'm not being sarcastic or memeing at all. 1v1 me in Sicily, Flory, I dare you. But yeah, with all that said, it's time to find the cheapest province once again. While these are coring up, we can go ahead and start our development. It's Bag-O, which is... Um, this one right here, Guirco. Where is Guirco? I was kind of hoping to find ones that are right next to these. So Bago is 47, 57, 67, 55. Nah, it is going to be Bago. Or maybe Joma? Nah, let's do it here. Let's do it here. Frick it, why? And you know what, man? I never do this. When we get to like the end like this and we got a dev for colonialism to win the game, why do I still attempt to have a stable nation? I can get a level 3 guy here, a level 3 guy there, and we're actually still almost making money. Why not get more points, bro? Why not? <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I feel like I'm uh, qualified to say now that this is the easiest nation in West Africa. Kabu. Definitely the best map color in all of Africa. Shoot, maybe even, even more. At this point, we can take another mission. Mm. Okay, really what I was waiting for is to do this. And uh, now we can continue spamming the rest of these two categories. I think 36 or 38 is what we're going to have to get it up to. And yeah, while I'm devving, I'm just beating up separatists that pop up. Still under GovCap, by the way. And there we go. 35. One less than I predicted, but I think we should be... Yeah, we need to wait for it to spread. So what I'm going to do right here is activate advancement in that one, in that one, and in that one. And we should be getting it in um, here as well. No, 
And now we're even back to making money. Didn't even take out that many loans. We can go ahead and get it, it to the merchant guilds and pay off these high interest loans. And there you have it, man. It's spread enough to where we can embrace it. Uh, we're just going to take out a couple of more loans right here. And I think that's that. There we go. We've got colonialism. And now that the month has ticked over, let's take a look at that before rivaling the looks in spain and we are officially number four on the great powers list with two nations with colonialism below us and after eating up mali earlier the other goal is now done as well and this predictably easy campaign is done but yeah overall smooth sailing man like i said at the start broke free from mali easily devved up the gold mines we're still making very good money inflation is a little bit of a bitch to handle right here but not really a problem you know you can keep a hold of it uh, with a uh, inflation reduction guy and lowering it from time to time we just didn't get lucky with a lot of rulers right here otherwise it probably would have expanded more but i did full state everything except a bunch of cultures even converted some provinces built all of the relevant buildings we could build and now man even without the gold i still be making money the only thing that's kind of freaking us here is trade but that's expected because timbuktu and katsina absolutely suck as trade notes so uh yeah katsina one of the worst in the game all of them all of them are uh, exit nodes right here so uh yeah, that's all I have to say about that, man. Kabul, pretty fun nation. I do recommend it. I just wish there was a little bit more flavor with the missions, and I wish you could form someone right here, but uh, not a lot of formables in West Africa, as many of you well know. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm very happy to say that this campaign as Kabul in releasables has been a success. And that has been Kabu in releasables. Once again, we're not spinning the wheel because I'm backed up. And if I still can't get those guys started, well, I'll spin it off camera or I'll spin it at the start of the video. But uh, that's it for me for now. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.